So we've always tried to give our daughter really healthy choices for food at home, you know, or even if we pack her lunch for school. And it's been challenging. It's been challenging to see her go off to school and she'll sit down next to her peers who are eating the school provided lunches. She might feel a little left out because she doesn't get to take part in that in that tradition where you sit down and your lunch is provided for you. She's got to tote her own lunch and open up this lunch that looks kind of funny maybe compared to the rest of the kids. If we pack something she loves like sushi, she might come back and say, well, why did you pack me that? People laughed. They were like, what's that weird green stuff in your food? You know, it's seaweed. Well, none of the other kids eat seaweed. It's been a challenge to pack something healthy that reflects our family's values around food, but yet is something that she feels comfortable eating in front of her peers who are eating mainly the food provided by the school. And the school, I think they're trying their best to, you know, give the kids something nutritious to eat and they're following state mandates, but I don't know that they're really getting into that with, in depth. I don't know that the kids are getting the opportunity to really, to really understand the value of that food because it's just being kind of slopped onto their plates. And they're told you have to take some of everything, it's the state law, and then a lot of it just gets dumped into the trash because what they don't like, they're not gonna eat. And you know, especially something like green beans, well, they probably love the green beans if they had grown them in the garden, but they're actually from a can or maybe they've been boiled to death and they're sitting there in this insipid pile and no kid is gonna enjoy those green beans. It's almost like teaching them to hate green beans, which seems like a crime.